Alright, so this video is going to show you how to set up an 8 relay radio control receiver and transmitter so that you can control any one of 8 relays from 2 buttons on a transmitter. This is the 8 relay setup we have here. We don't have the relays plugged on at the moment. Um, you can get how to build this from this website, tinyurl.com slash rcrelay or scan that QR code. This program is set up so that when you connect the power it will tell you how many relays it's programmed to control based on the number of flashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll notice now that that leg's blinking fast, it means it has a signal from the transmitter. This is program. We have three position switch here and a three position switch here. So from two three position switches you can get any one of nine combinations and we've programmed both up to be no relay so it's flashing fast. This one here down one becomes relay number one and you'll see that the LED will blink one time to show that it's relay number one. On relay number two it blinks twice so you know which one it's on. So that's relay number three, is the left one down. Relay number four is middle, middle. One, two, three, four. Five is down here. Six is up on the right, down on the left. Seven is down on the left, middle on the right. And eight is down, down. Eight just looks like eight continuous flashes on here. So I'll go through the buttons again. We've got relay zero, no relays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the way this is programmed, we have set the auxiliary channels. So we have uh, the output from the transmitter here is channel 6, the top wire there. So we've programmed channel 6 to be the relay and we've assigned it to switch A which is on the left. Um, you have to put up as well. And we have only a 6 channel receiver here so we have assigned switch F which is the right switch to um, the channel 7 which we've called shift. So you assign switch A, give it a name, choose switch A up in the settings, switch A up, and switch 7, we've given it a name and we've assigned it to switch F up. Now the way we get the two switches working together is we mix them with the curve mixers here. So we have two curves, I'll show you the second one first so you don't get confused. So mix 2, whoops, mix 2. What we're doing is we're mixing the shift, which is our F key on the right here. We're mixing it with the slave, which is the relay. Um, so you, when you do that, you choose shift, you choose the thing you want to mix, you choose output channel, and then you choose the one you want. Oops, I did that wrong. Output channel, F. And same with slave. You choose output channel and then you choose the relay, whatever you're plugging your relays into. But the curve, this is where we do the mixing part. So we've chosen in our settings here, we've chosen we want a three point slash type curve. Um, you need it activated, so you have to hit that. So you've got a, a tick. We've chosen low to be. Minus 25, we've left the middle at 0, and then we choose the high to be plus 25. So what this means is, depending on the position of the switch, 
see if you can move the switch, it moves where it is. So if the switch is down, we'll be adding 25 to whatever the, is already on the relay. If it's in the middle, we'll be adding zero. And if it's on, sorry, subtracting 25. And if it's on the top, it'll be adding 25. So when you've got it from minus 25 through zero to plus 25, you're good to go. So that's the curve number two. The curve number one, you've got to get your head around this one. We're mixing the relay with itself because adding 25 to 100 is going to give you more than what you can get out because it only goes from plus 100 to minus 100. So what we've done here is we've chosen the same relay for both the input and the output, the master and the slave, and the curve on this one, it's the opposite. So same again, you do choose a three-point curve and it goes from 25 through 0 to minus 25. And that will give you display servers. So we have the switch on the, the left here. So you'll see that it goes, if you see switch 7 there, as I move it from the top, it's all the way to the right, to the middle, to the bottom. So remember we don't have a channel 7 on our transmitter. Um, this is the problem with these transmitters. You can't use the switches directly. You can only use the channels. So you have to ass assign the switch, switch F, to channel 7, and then you can mix channel 7 with channel 6, which is what we've done. So you'll see that as I move the switch, in the middle, the output for channel 6 is there. Um, at the top, it adds 25, so it goes all the way to the end, and in the middle again, and at the bottom, it subtracts 25, so it goes down a bit. And then if I move the left switch, it chops, drops off a lot. And you'll see the middle, it's always on zero. And add 25 or subtract 25. See how it's moving? Plus or minus 25 there. And the bottom. So there you go. That's how to do it. Um, so I'll put on relay number one again. You'll see it's blinking like crazy. See it has a signal. Relay number one and it'll start just blinking one time. Which is hooked up to the relays, of course. It's using these pins to fire. So you can also um, wire pin 13 with a resistor to an LED. So you can indicate, you can put this indicator light on your model if you were wondering from a distance which relay is selected. If you wanted to set this up so that you could um, select a relay and then activate it for something, then you could put a second relay into the earth on all of the relays and then you could have another button hooking that up so that this would be the, the activate and this would be the select if you needed to do that. Enjoy!